Um, it is a great day, isn't it? A baptismal day. Um, I think it is a great day. And baptism is just really, really important. Um, it's important to God. It's important to Jesus. Jesus actually begins his ministry by getting baptised. And he finishes his ministry by leaving his last most important words to the disciples, telling them to go and baptise other people. So he begins with baptism and he ends with baptism. Uh, Jesus comes to John the Baptist and says, um, will you baptise me? And John goes, no, 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 no. You should be baptising me. I'm not worthy. And Jesus says, no, 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 no. I want to do this. It's right and it's proper. We should do this. And Jesus, who doesn't need to get baptised because he's absolutely perfect, is baptised uh, so that he can identify with us. And we, who are far from perfect, get baptised so that we can identify with him. It's important because God's word says it's important and Jesus himself thought it was important. Baptism demonstrates my faith in Jesus. And belief always is the starting point. Baptism always follows belief. It's why it's credo baptism, I believe. Um, it's a declaration of the faith that we've already placed in Jesus Christ. Um, and that's why Jess is getting baptised today. Not because she wants to become a Christian, not because she wants to start a relationship with Jesus Christ, but because she has already started that relationship and she wants to demonstrate that she has placed her faith in Jesus Christ. When you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, you instantly have something to declare. That he is your Lord and your Saviour. Because it's all about placing your faith in him and saying, demonstrating through baptism. It's about saying, he's the boss. And my life's going to be different as a result of that. The why of baptism. Baptism declares my love for Jesus. When Jesus said, keep, if you love me, keep my commands. It's in John chapter 14. Um, when we put our faith in Jesus and get baptised, we are declaring our unconditional love for him. When, hear this, when we put our faith in Jesus and we don't get baptised, we're basically saying, I want this relationship on my terms. We don't get baptised because Jesus commanded it. We do it because we love him and we want to declare it. Uh, baptism finally deepens my joy in Jesus. <laughs> You know, when you see Jess go into the water today, you're going to see her go down under the water. That's being buried with Jesus, that old life gone. And then you're going to see her, after a while, raised up out of the water to new life and to eternal life. And it's symbolic of that being buried with Christ and being raised again with Christ. And baptism does not guarantee that there won't be tough days ahead. Sorry, Jess. Um, I'm 17 years old and I'm about to do my last year at secondary school. I've been coming to South Berlin Baptist Church for most of my life. I have been brought up in a Christian home for my whole life and I've been going to church every Sunday. When I was eight years old, I came across a booklet written by Doug Hawley on becoming a Christian, which explained the gospel and how I could become a Christian myself. After reading it, I took the booklet upstairs to my mum and started asking questions how I can invite Jesus to be my Lord and Saviour and become a Christian. I prayed a simple prayer asking for forgiveness for Jesus to come into my life and become his follower for the rest of my life. I'm learning so much about Jesus and his spirit and finding him so loving, kind and patient as I learn to trust him with my future and seek to become more like him. During the recent International Youth Week at Cape and Ray, I renewed my commitment to Jesus, my friend, saviour and Lord, and my love for God, my Heavenly Father. This year it has been so special because I admit that during COVID and lockdown, I struggled with my faith. God was not my priority. I pushed him behind and my friends were my priority, going to drink, going to parties, drinking, swearing, the amount of followers I had on Instagram, um, what I looked like and being cool and trying to fit in with others. 
This led on to unhelpful friendship groups and then like also denial of my friend of denial of my faith to other people. In his love and patience with me, I sense God calling me to come away from such situations and put him first in my life. But God has been so good and kind and given me a real peace about it all as I sought to obey him. As time has passed, this peace has changed my life and I'm so happy to be in the centre of God's will and looking forward to all he has in store for my life. Two verses that have constantly been popping up into me in different ways has been Joshua 1 verse 9 which says, Have I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And the second verse is Proverbs 3, verse 5, which is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on not on your own understanding, which has definitely helped me in these hard times this few months um, and has made me feel like to be strong and trust in God and know that he will be guiding me along the way and take care of all my worries. Earlier this year, I went to a big church festival over a weekend where I sent God calling me to be baptised as a declaration of my faith and love for him. And today, and so today I'm being baptised as a public sign <coughs> of my desire to follow Jesus for the rest of my life. Thank you, guys. First up, do you believe, Jess, in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit? I do. Brilliant. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? I do. Fantastic. Do you intend to follow Christ? I do. And will you live within the fellowship of the church and will you serve Jesus Christ in the world? With the help of the Holy Spirit, I will. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's good. Um, <clears throat> Jess, because... Uh, obviously we've heard you talk about your faith you've really declared your faith in Jesus in a fantastic and a huge way because you've done that and because you've asked to be baptised it now gives us great pleasure to baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit you know these are special occasions God is here you can sense that God's spirit the Holy Spirit is present and moving amongst us this morning and these are just great days great occasions to just quietly and gently do business with God and I said earlier you know I hope that uh, God gives us the courage and the openness to be able to make a response to him and I'd like us to begin to do that now because there are some here today, you, you kind of have it all in the head, but I guess it's never quite gone to the heart. You've never asked Jesus to be your Lord. And right now, Jesus is standing again at the door of your life, and he's knocking. Let him in. Answer the door. Let him in. And if he's knocking at your life saying, take that step, you have it in your head, but let it move to your heart. Open the door of your life and, and let him in. Believe in Jesus as Lord and Saviour. <clears throat> 